supporters of the no camp took to the streets to celebrate it became very clear very quickly that Renzi's defeat was overwhelming, of course. Prime Minister Matteo Renzi calling for people to back his constitutional reforms, reform proposals, but the majority of people uh, rejected his proposals. And as the Prime Minister lived up to his promise and announced his resignation, people were on the streets waving banners and cheering. His defeat was overwhelming. They were celebrating their victory. Now, all opposition parties in Italy were opposed to Renzi's reforms. They'd all been campaigning for a no vote, but perhaps the loudest voice came from the Five Star Movement. This is a populist, anti-establishment, anti-European movement uh, that campaigned very heavily against uh, Matteo Renzi and is uh, increasingly popular here in Italy. Let's have a listen to what Alessandro Di Battista, one of their MPs, had to say. The Five Star Movement isn't the only winner. It was a battle by most Italian citizens who rejected a constitutional reform that deprived the Italian people of umpteen rights. But in some ways, Five Star will potentially be the winner from this because they have their sights set on government. They will be hoping that this result could give them a foothold in government. They're calling for early elections. Of course, the Prime Minister has now resigned, plunging Italy into a period of political uncertainty. We could see elections here as early as the middle of next year and we could see a populist party perhaps in alliance with a far-right movement taking power here in Italy.